You know, there's always somebody saying the same thing. I believe that Jesus was a good man, but good men don't do what Jesus did. Good men can't do what he did. Good by itself is nothing. But good energized by agape love and the power of God, amen, can do anything. And what they didn't understand and perceive is that Christ, amen, was the essence of who God is. Because he was God. Yeah. He was love and light. Yeah. And what love and light is, there's truth. Yeah. Read. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Rabbi, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come I from know God. that you are a teacher, and many in the Sanhedrin know that you are a good teacher. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read on. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest. I haven't seen anybody do what you do. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an old man now. I was young, but I got into ministry years ago. But I've never seen anybody open up blind eyes. I've never seen anybody else stop their bill. I've never seen anybody make the dumb talk or the lame walk. I've never seen anybody cure all manner of sickness and disease like you do. I know, amen, I've been around a long time, and I've never seen anything like that. When I got saved, amen, many years ago, 46 years ago, as a matter of fact, when I got saved 46 years ago, I said, wow. Wow. Oh, some of y'all ain't. Amen. <laughs> when I got saved 46 years ago, the reason why I got saved was not because I had been in the church. I had been in the church like Nicodemus all my life. Yeah. And folks think because they're in church that they're part of the body of Christ. But I got news for you. Just because you're in church don't make you a part of the body of Christ. Nicodemus been in church all his life. Now he's a headmaster in one of the seminaries there. A chief teacher, amen. And now he's coming to Christ by night because he's afraid he might lose his status in the church. Here he is trying to figure out who this man is. Read. Except God be with you. Except God be with you. I know God got to be with you because nobody can do these things except God be with them. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him. Jesus answered and said to him. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. That word verily means truly. Truly, truly, he said it twice. I say unto you. Except a man be born again. Except a man, woman, boy, a girl is born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot see the kingdom of God. He's talking about futuristic and he's talking about present. Yeah. He's talking about one day when I leave this earth, on this side, going to the next side. Yeah, but he's also talking about seeing the kingdom of God now amen. while I'm walking on earth. Amen. The presence of God, amen, can show up, amen, anywhere you are, amen, if you are a child of the king. I can't play church. You got too old for it. Too many hours, amen, of prayer and fasting. Too, too many days, amen, of fasting and prayer. Too many times in the word of God. I, I go to work, amen, and I'm sitting on the lot, amen, and I'm reading the word of God, amen, while I'm waiting to go to work because I want to feed my spirit, man, as well as my natural man. I get up every day and eat breakfast so that I eat once and I skip some things, amen, because I don't have time to eat. But guess what? The body still survives. You can miss a few days of not being with the word of God, of not being in prayer, amen, but, and then be fine. But if you miss too much time, Come on now. Yeah. after a while you get what you don't know what you got, what you say you got or not. And when you get there, that's where Satan plays. Amen. Satan plays in those times when you don't know who you are My God. or who you are. Yeah. When you are lost, amen, because you haven't fed your spirit, man, like you feed your natural, man, you are in trouble. Yeah. Nicodemus, amen, had been feeding his natural man all his life, but he had never, amen, accomplished anything that Christ had accomplished. Because Christ was more concerned about the spirit part of him than the flesh part of him. 
He spent days and hours, amen, by himself in fasting and prayer so that when he came out among the people, amen, he came out under the anointing of God that he could break and destroy every yoke that the enemy had on the people's lives. Amen. It's our job to be, to be lights shining in darkness. Amen. How can I shine without the oil of God? How can I shine without the fire of the Holy Spirit? How can I shine without the necessities of my walk with the Lord? If I'm walking with him, I got to also be like him. That's right. Help us, Lord. Discipline. In every way. Help, help, help. In showing forth signs, wonders, and miracles. Mother on the job with the baby, amen, that was born, amen, with no skin on, over half of his body, amen, that was born with, 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 with deformed internal organs, amen, that baby doing fine now, she bought me a gift, amen, for Christmas, she said, I just want to let you know, our family is faithful for what God has done through you. Amen. This is why we, the body of Christ, must be empowered by the Holy Ghost because we need to be used of God whenever God needs a vessel in to get it. a job done. My God, my God. But if I'm not prayed up, I ain't gonna be stayed up. Yes. Yes. Amen. If I'm not passing up, I'm not gonna have the power I need when I need it. Amen. You can't play in this season. Or the devil ain't playing. This hour is short. He doesn't have much time left. And he's working overtime. Yes, he trying to get you to not to believe what you already know to be the truth. Because right. if you really know something is the truth, you act on it. That's right. If you're not acting on the word of God, then you don't really know if it's the truth. Mm. And that's a bad place to be. Amen. Because there's a day, but that's a bad place to be. Yes, if you're not sure what you think you know, you can't walk in it. Read on. Nicodemus said unto him, Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? I'm an old man now, Lord. <laughs> Been in the church all my life. <laughs> and the, there's nothing more sadder than seeing an old mother or an old daddy in the church and not saved. Hallelujah. Been in church for 50 years. And not safe. Yeah, and don't know you. Still smoke, still drink, still dip, still cuss. <laughs> still lies, cheat, and steal. Hmm. But they've been in church all their life. And they can talk about the Lord, but they can't. Come on now. It is more important for a generation to see a message than to hear a message. Amen. That's the truth. This generation needs to see a message. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. They need to see a child of God walking upright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walking in integrity, honesty, amen, purity, sanctification. Mm -hmm. They need to see him walking in power and authority. Amen. So that they'll know that God is, and he's the reward of them that diligently yeah. seek him. Yeah. Yeah. Nicodemus is seeking the Lord by night. Because he can't come by day. Thank you. Yeah. There's a book there that will steal away man, every now and then to get to a real word just to hear it. Jesus. And after hearing it, they get excited for a moment. But because they have nothing man, inside of them to retain it, a few days later they're back in the same state. It's something about when you have a real encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because now you're crying out and your spirit man connects with him. And all of a sudden the life begins to form inside. And when life begins to be stirred up on the inside of a believer, amen, power, amen, is the result of it. There is a time, amen, of intimacy in a relationship between a man and a woman, amen, where love, amen, is consummated, amen, where there is an intercourse. But nowadays, intercourse doesn't mean what it used to mean. Intercourse is an act, amen, and not a connection. Jesus. When you lie down with a man or a woman, amen, and become intimate with them, amen, you become soulmates. Jesus. When you become intimate with God, you become a soulmate of God. Yeah. God, amen, is your husband, amen, and you are his wife. 
And intimacy takes place in him when the spirit in him of God is injected in him into a, a non-believer. And now that non-believer becomes a believer in the Lord. And, and then what happens in him is a beautiful life develops. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful life. Yes. One in him without spot, a wrinkle, a blemish. Mm -hmm. It is for everyone. Jesus. Not just for some people, some elect folks. Mm -hmm. It's for everyone that will believe it. Amen. Somebody say, well, I, I believe. If you believe, you act. Right. Uh -huh. You act on that belief. Come on now. Good. When I believe, I laid the, 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 the marijuana down. Oh, hell. I, I laid the alcohol down. When I, when I believe, I laid the extramarital <laughs> affairs. I laid them all. I laid all that stuff to the side when I believe. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I never picked them up again. Because I was in relationship yeah. with, God. Yeah. with my new lover. Yeah. <laughs> and, and my new lover, amen, is not going to mess me up. My, my new lover is, is, is not going to pregnate me and leave me. My, not, my new lover is, 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 is not going to abuse me or misuse me. My new lover, amen, his thoughts concerning me are to do me good and not evil. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. He's not going to use and abuse me and then cast me aside. Thank you. He's explaining to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, if you really want to be in a relationship with me, this is what you got to do. Read on. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, Nicodemus asked the question that in the natural sound reasonable. You say be born again. How is it possible for me to enter back into my mother's womb, amen, at my age and be born again? Mm -mm. Jesus, amen, is so compassionate and so loving, amen, he takes his time and explains to Nicodemus what he's really talking about. Read on. Amen. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Truly, truly, I'm saying to you, Nicodemus. Except a man be born of water and of the spirit. Except you be born of the water and of the the spirit. This is where it gets twisted, amen, a little bit. God was talking to Sunday school this morning about how easy it is for what ministry, amen, to take a, a little bit of scripture, amen, and go off on a tangent and believe a certain thing, amen. Another ministry get a little bit of the word and go off and believe this. Yeah. Another ministry go off get a little bit of the word and, and believe this only, and they don't preach anything or teach anything but that, amen. And confusion, amen, comes out of that. Because here it is, over here, as long as you're baptized in the water, you're saved. But that's not what Jesus said. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. So now you got the people over here that believe, amen, in the Holy Ghost baptism, but they don't believe in the water baptism. All right. So they got a piece jacked up out of place. They got a piece jacked up and out of place. But the word says you must be born of the water and the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God without these ingredients. Yeah. Read on. Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Read on. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is, is born flesh. of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. So we are fleshly beings and spirit beings. So we need both. In order to operate on this side. Amen. To be effective on this side, I need the water and the spirit. I, I need the word. I need the spirit. I need, amen, whatever God says I need, I need all of that in order to make it on this side. I can't get part of it. And the problem in the church today is, amen, we're getting part of it, but not all of it. People are getting the word, but not the spirit, amen. And because they got the word, not the spirit, they still are powerless. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And the Bible says the word of the letter kills. Yes, it is the spirit of God that brings the word alive. All right. So without the spirit of God, there is no understanding. All right. Jesus. Mm. All right. I need both. Both. The problem in the church, amen, is that we stop striving for both. Yeah, man. We only strive for one. Yeah. We want more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge. But knowledge by itself is destructive. Mm -hmm. 
Knowledge by itself is destructive. It takes, amen, the spirit of God yes. to bring revelation. Glory. We need revelation. We need revelation. We need revelation. God to reveal yeah. his purpose and design yeah. for our individually and collective lives. Yes. I need to know what God wants me to do. Yes. And I need to know what God wants us to do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. How many got that? Amen. Read. Marvel not that I said unto thee. You Marvel must, not that I said unto you, Nicodemus. Ye must be born again. You gotta be born again. Amen. Read on. The wind bloweth where it listeth. Our wind outside blows every day just about. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And thou hearest the sound thereof. You hear it. You see the trees rustling. You see the grass maybe rustling. Amen. You see it through the trees and the grass, but you don't really see it. You hear it, but you can't really see it. Amen. But you know it's there because you even feel it on your skin when you go outside. Amen. So even though you can't see it, it's just as real as if you could. Amen. Well, the Holy Ghost is the same way. You can't see him. Come on. But he's just as real as the wind. And when he blows in your direction, your life is going to change for the better. When you blows in you, yeah, amen, your life, is going, your talk is going to change, your, your, your walk is going to change. Yeah, your, 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 the way you perceive things is going to change when the winds of the Holy Spirit blow in your direction. Mm. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Read on. But canst not tell whence it cometh. You don't know where it's coming from? Amen. I didn't know I was going to get, I did not know what I was going to get saved. All of a sudden, I was at a point where I cried out through my desperation, and he heard my cry. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, God will show up in your life if you cry out to him. But until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll never cry out the way a baby will cry out for his mother when it's in need. But when your back is against the wall, yeah. every door has been shut in your face. Yeah. Even your friends have walked away in it. When you cry out to God in desperation and in obedience to his word, yeah. he'll show up. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He'll show up. Yeah. Nicodemus, wind's blowing in your direction. Mm -hmm. What you going to do about it? Jesus was blowing in his direction. What are you going to do about what you're, what you're hearing, Nicodemus? What, what are you going to do about what you're hearing, Nicodemus? Read on. And whither it goeth. You don't know where it's going. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So is everyone that's born of the Holy Ghost. I don't know what your purpose is, but God does. Amen. You may not know what God wants you to do when you first get saved. When you first get filled with the Holy Ghost. But I promise you the Bible says he will lead us and guide us into all truth and righteousness. God's way of doing what he wants to do in this planet. Amen. How he's going to use you, he will reveal it. But until, amen, you reach out to him, he's on the outside looking in. Amen. And his greatest desire is to be a part of our lives. Is to lead us and guide us around life pitfalls and situations that, that cause us hurt and pain. Yes, God does not like to see us in pain. Jesus. Thank you, He's not a sadomasochist that loves to see you down. Amen. He wants to see you up, amen, abounding and growing and increasing every, in every area of your life. Yes. Yes. Compelled. But God, amen, can't do it by himself. No, he he needs our yes and amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. So let it be. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Thy will be done. Will be done. Yes, yes, Lord. Do yes. what you will. Yes. He's talking to Nicodemus. And Nicodemus is trying to understand what everything is in him, Pastor. He's trying to understand what is he talking about. Because yes. in the natural, it sounds crazy. Yes. 
Read on. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. How can these things be? How can these things be? Mm -hmm. Read on. Jesus answered and said unto him, mm -hmm. Art thou a master of Israel? Have you been going to church all your life? <laughs> <laughs> My mom and dad had us in church before I knew who I really was. I know, that's right. And I had been in church for 21 years, Ebonette. Jesus. And I still hadn't met him. Yes. Come on. Still didn't know who he really was. Yes. Still did not have a relationship with him for 21 years after being in church all my life. And one day when my back was against the wall, I'm a married man with children and, and no job, I cried out to him. I said, Lord, I'm tired. I need your help. And at the kitchen table at our house, and he came in like a mighty rushing wind and filled me with the Holy Ghost. And to this day, I still thank him for it. Thank you, Lord. Do it, Holy Ghost. He brought me out of darkness and I walked into the marvelous light, yeah. and, and, and I liked what I saw, and I never went back. Jesus. After 46 years, you, did I have downtime? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We all do. Yeah. Did I have struggles? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't by myself no longer. I had somebody in my corner that was yeah. going to give me power enough yeah. to make it through whatever I was going through. Yeah. Whatever my chest was, whatever the sickness that hit my body, whatever the pain that was racking my body, whatever thing that was happening, going wrong in my life, he was right there to lead me through it. I was no longer alone. And when you realize that the Lord of the universe, amen, that created everything is in your corner, there's a peace that passes all understanding. That will guard your heart from the attacks of the enemy. Because he's going to come daily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to come daily. And he's going to hit those areas where you are weak in. Yeah. <coughs> and your eyes. <laughs> are the weakest part of our body. Yeah. You walk by and you see broad shoulders. Big chest. And a man that got a behind <laughs> and not flat like a rub board. Thank you, thank you, Lydia. Everybody acting all same now. <laughs> Don't see. Hear and don't hear. 
If you want to stay saved, amen, you got to guard your spirit, man. Yeah. You got to guard your heart. You got to guard your eyes, your ear gate. Yeah. And you got to really guard your mouth. You got to guard your mouth. Because out of it goes those issues of life or death. I'm almost through. But we need to get something in us to help us realize I can't make it by myself. Amen. The problem in the church today is we're trying to make it by ourselves on our own efforts and our own merits. And you cannot do it. The devil is too big. He's too powerful for me to try to make it on my own. I'll find myself being defeated daily. And nobody likes that, that, that the taste of defeat. Oh my God. You go over in the closet and you stay there for three or four days because you fail. Some people stay there longer than that because they fail. I don't know how to let myself be tricked. I don't know how to let myself fall into that trap. I don't know how to let myself go down like that. And the devil in there will come every day. Yeah, he will. To dump on you. Yeah, yeah you ain't worth nothing. You ain't going to never be nothing. You ain't going to never have nothing. And you'll stay in that pity party until you come back and hear another powerful message. And then and you'll hear it and you'll get excited for a moment. And you'll go out for a couple of days. And a couple of days your body will run back in the same spot. God was trying to help Nicodemus. Nicodemus, you can't make it without me. Amen. Amen. And I need to live on the inside of you, mm -hmm. not on the outside. Amen. Amen. If he's not living in you, you are no match for the devil. Amen. I don't know how smart or intelligent you think you are, you're no match for him. Amen. He's been around. One of the first creations that God created was Lucifer. Who became Satan after he fell. But he, he was there right after the beginning. Mm -hmm. He knows a lot more than you and I will ever know. Yeah. Until we get to the other side. We'll start learning. But he's been around for eons. Mm -hmm. And he knows where our weaknesses lie. Amen. My God. <clears throat> she could say, Nicodemus, except you be born again, you ain't going to be no match for him. No, Can be born the water and the spirit. The word and the spirit. Not just natural water, but the word in Revelation I mean, is coming out as water. Rivers of living water. The word of God empowered by the spirit of God. It'll make you complete. It'll make you whole. It'll make you strong. If you get a daily dose of him, every day, when you start your day, you'll be victorious every day. Amen. Amen. You're going to have trouble, you're going to have trials, you're going to have tests, but you'll be victorious every day. Hallelujah. Every day I get up, I, got, I, 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 was, I, was, I was working in there, I, I did like almost $6,000 worth of retail business one day, and I got back a couple of days later, and returns started coming back. Had $1,300 worth of returns that came back. Mm. And I said, Lord, why do people buy stuff in the heat of a moment and get buyer's remorse within 24 hours? Mm. And I said, okay, Lord, maybe they got some sense between the time they came to the store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the time they left the store. Because sometimes you get excited when you get in there. And you start seeing all these beautiful things, man. And you start just, I got a credit card. Yeah. Don't do it. I got a fresh one just out the pad. <laughs> got a $3,000 limit on it. And man, they start buying everything. I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. I want that. I want that. And, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and because they got a 30 day return policy, they got 30 days to think about it. <laughs> Just before that first bill come out, it's like $150 a month extra bill I got. I don't want, I, I want, I can, I can, I, I, I keep this. But all this other stuff is going to be a bad thing. Okay. See what we do in the natural. We start giving stuff back. Mm -hmm. 
we take stuff and then we give it back. Yeah, right. I want this, but I don't want it because it's starting to mess with the other stuff I want. I don't need it. Wow. I want God. But if I if I get God, I got to give up this. Right. That's good right there. Hallelujah. And the part that I'm worried about it's not my soul part. It's my body part. My body part don't want to give up this. Make it play. But my soul part wants God. But my body part is mm. Can't have both. Not yet. Not yet. I just repent. I need this right now. Justify. Yeah. And we don't justify. Right. I play it on, I, I play it on getting married. Stop. Okay. In a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so this is my soulmate. You thinking that's your soulmate? But you don't know what she or he thinking. My God, come on, Holy Ghost, help us. Cause they might be still tied up with Bill and Barbara. And you in the mix somewhere. And when you get mad with you, they start thinking about Barbara and Bill. Cause you still tied up with them. My God, help us today, Holy Ghost. Nigga, demon. You got to make a choice. You choose life or you choose death. But you can't have both at the same time. We read on. we just about to. we got two more minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Aren't you a teacher? In Israel, you've been teaching the Torah and the book of the prophets since you've been preaching. These things I'm talking to you about, you should already know. Anybody been to Sunday school, anybody been to Bible study, anybody been to somebody's church, amen, for more than one time, you've heard many of these things that I'm saying now, but you didn't act on them. And your life didn't change for the better. My God. Anybody that's still in the same place they were 15 years ago when they got saved has already backslided. Jesus. Help, help, help. <laughs> if you're struggling, amen, to get to the house of God, amen, when you first got saved and you're still struggling, amen, 15 years later, you have backslidden. Jesus. Anybody that's having problems, amen, studying the word of God on a daily basis, amen, hallelujah, after 15 or 20 years, you have backslidden. Jesus. Help us. Anybody having problems in their prayer life, amen, you find it hard to get into your prayer closet, amen, and pray for more than 10 minutes, amen, you have backslidden. Jesus. Jesus. You have fallen away from the faith. It's easy to come to the house of God and fall asleep. It's easy to come to the house of God, amen, and to be uninterested, amen, in your soul salvation. Jesus. Sit up in the house, amen, and be depressed, amen, while you're in his house. Yeah. You're sitting up, amen, where the food, amen, of the Lord, amen, is filling in the house, amen. The yeah. bread of life is here, amen. All that you need is here, amen, and you can't even reach out and tap into it because your mind and heart is somewhere else. Yeah. And so... We go through this cycle. Nicodemus had got tired of the cycle. He had got sick and tired of going to the house of God, seeing sick folks come in and go home the way they came. He got tired of seeing sinful folks come in and go back out and steal sinners. He got tired of seeing lives staying exactly the same after all those years, including his own life. Wow. Jesus said to him, Nicodemus, it's all because you don't have me living on the inside. Yeah. But when I come in, things change. Yeah. When the Lord comes in, things change. Come in, Lord. Everything about my life transforms. Yeah. Light invades my darkness. The love of God enters my heart and gentleness and kindness flow out of it, the issues of life amen. to those around me. Yeah. My life needs to make a difference, amen, in this world. Amen. Your life needs to make a difference in this world. Amen. But only you have the ability, amen, to give God your life. Amen. 
I can't do it for you. We come to the church, and it's time, amen, to give God praise, and we shut our mouth. My God, my God. We come to the church, amen, it's time to worship God, and we refuse to worship him. Mm. We come to the house of God, amen, in pain, amen, and, and suffering to them, to get our bodies, amen. And when we come, amen, we're not really expecting God to do it as they for us. But when you come, you should be expecting God to intervene in your life. I expect God to show up. Amen. So therefore, he shows up. Yes. I expect God to do it. Yes. And therefore, he does it. Yes. I expect God to give, and he gives it to me in abundance. I expect God to keep me, and he keeps me. I expect God to deliver me, and he delivers me. Amen. But I expect it first. Faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not yet seen. Jesus and Nicodemus, you can't see it right now. But it's already there for you. Yes. Just receive it. Receive it. He's made it simple. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Yes. Now, after you believe, receive. Yes. Receive what? The baptism of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. That's where he comes in. Yeah. The Godhead body, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come in and dwell inside of you. Amen. And in dwelling, he keeps us. In dwelling, he empowers us. Amen. In dwelling us, amen, he gives us true life. Abundant life. Money is good, but money won't make you happy. <laughs> You know that at this season of the year, there are more millionaires that commit suicide than any other time. And they got all that money. But it won't make you happy. Oh, money is a tool. I would love to have an abundant supply of it. So I'll be able to help others. Right. But it's in his will and in his time. Yes. So if he never does it, I'm not going to be disappointed. But if he does do it, I'm just going to do what he wants me to do with it when I get it. That's enough. There's a choice that everybody has to make in their lives. And only that person can make it. To God be the glory. God, amen, doesn't want my money, my possessions. He doesn't want my prominence. He doesn't want any of that stuff. He just wants me. Now, somebody say, well, why would you want me the way I am and as much as I have messed up? Because that's not the way he designed us to be. Amen. And he's waiting for an opportunity waiting. to show you who you really are when you give yourself to him. Amen. It will amaze you. Yes. It has amazed me these 46 years of where he brought me from now mm -hmm. to where I am now. Yes. Going through amen, life situations, coming out victorious every time. And this too shall pass. Yes. Wherever you are, whatever mistakes you've made, whatever you've done in life, amen, that you feel ashamed of, that will pass. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Whatever good you have done, that will pass also. Amen. But what is lasting is my relationship with him. Yes, God. Whether good or bad, he will never leave me, nor forsake me when I'm in a relationship with him. Come on, get on your feet today. Go and stand.